Okay, so this is going to be the first video I post on my YouTube channel. And I, uh, I've done like five introductions to this thing so far. And I had it ready to go. And then I said, no, there's some stuff I need to edit out. And I edited that out. And then I was like, no, nah, I'm going to leave it in there because uh, it's the first one, just raw. It's going to be uncut from start to finish. And it tells the story of a, a four-foot wooden Indian that I carved several years ago and just kind of opens it up to what happened on that carving and we're going to get started on it and i'm just going to put it the whole thing on there unedited start to finish so you get to see <laughs> see all of it all right hope you enjoy and you're supposed to hit the like button the subscribe button the notification button all that kind of stuff and if you know how to do that, do that. And later, if, when I figure out how to do it, I'll explain it to those that don't know. But do that. It helps build the channel, they say. So uh, hope you enjoy this video. It's not real long. And we'll get going. First day with my new video set up, I was thinking about doing a O F O O O T D O T D today, but I just threw on these uh, just old t-shirt and some jeans today and Texas State hat. And really, that who needs that? But I'm here this uh, four foot Indian that I carved. And uh, I was going to tell you a story about him. Everybody asked, oh, how long does that take? Well, this one took about five years. Uh, when you do one of these, you cut a log, you pretty much carve it about three quarters of the way through, and then you leave it, and it'll split, and you take a chainsaw and you split it down the back, like from here to there with the chainsaw. Just <laughs> and you hope everything will crack as it dries, it'll just crack right there. Have one big crack, then you cut some wedges and stick them in there and carve them over. Well, this one, the summer I did this, it was really hot. It cracked all over. In fact, it's still got some cracks there that I haven't repaired, but this thing cracked all over the place and I was able to fix it. You just cut wood wedges and if there's a big notch, you might even use a Bondo, like for a car. But uh, anyway, I carved it. You have to set it, let it dry. About two years goes by, and I said, oh, I can fix it. I got all the cracks, and I can fix it. So I went after that, uh, stuffed it full of slivers, and carved it off. And then I set it up, and I was going to paint it. And then I noticed that the legs, the feet were like right here. The base was up to here. Realized it was too short. But luckily, it was too short, and I was able to cut down the base, put his feet on, then paint it finish it, let it dry, all in all about a five year project. Uh, he's got hair braids, he's got a war bonnet on that goes all the way down both sides. I do the back just plain because usually these are displayed just flat against something and uh, it's kind of price wise not worth the effort. I'll make some that are all detailed on the back but they get really expensive and this one's really expensive anyway. But uh, again, wraps on the hair, uh, bone breastplate, cigars, holding in his hand, got a blue loin cloth and fringe. That's it. Well, sure, Ma. Where are you at? You'll be on the internet. Oh, you got it? Yeah, sure. 